Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Jake, your favorite Bay Area realtor, and today I'm gonna be your coffee tour guide. For this video, we're gonna check out some of the best, what I think, Instagram-worthy coffee shops here in the city of San Francisco. Probably checking around at four or five different shops in different neighborhoods. San Francisco is probably one of the rivals to Seattle in terms of coffee culture. Some of the coffee shops we're checking out today are sort of homegrown locals and Ideally picture perfect and we're gonna snap some pictures along the way. So let's go check them out We are at the first coffee shop on this coffee tour today Sight Glass Coffee here in San Francisco in the Mission District What makes this place actually so Instagrammable? Well, First off, we've got the accent of the colors. Okay, all of them complement each other from the green exterior, or the green plants outside to this blue exterior wall. And then once you go inside, well, you've got tall windows, these industrial windows that really bring in a lot of light. So if we're gonna be sitting in this corner, you got the angled booth that you can lay back on, you know, kick your feet up, that light's shining right on your face and you can look out. Of course, again, you have the coffee. They've got some nice art on it that you can take a picture. All right, everyone, so the next place we're going to is actually more known for its pastries. It's, it's a nice bakery, it's called Le Marais Bakery. It's a French name that I'm probably butchering, but we haven't gone inside yet, so I don't really know the aesthetic on the, of the interior, but the exterior, it's got a nice bright blue gold trims, and there's a cool uh, eye croissant SF wall that's definitely Instagram worthy. There's tons of windows all surrounding it, you know, floor to ceiling, so you definitely get a lot of light inside pretty airy the the interior is bright all of white color so hopefully we can get a nice picturesque shot like on a table or something with some good coffee and a good pastry What actually made this place really Instagrammable was the fact that there are so many open windows so that allowed a lot of light to come in. The interior was actually a lot brighter than I thought. I do like the blue exterior again with that gold trim, the airiness of the interior. And boom, we were able to capture that magic shot from uh, using the glass of the exterior and of the windows to sort of, I don't know, make it look a little more majestic. Where to now, Jake? The interval at Long Now apparently doubles as a bar and coffee shop, but not only that, it's like a little museum, so there's tons of bookshelves around, they got paintings on the walls, and so hopefully it's cool, we'll check it out and see if we can snap a good photo. walking up here and apparently it's closed they uh, are hosting a private event an eight hour long private event but uh, since we can't go inside the area that we're in is pretty damn Instagrammable so we're gonna go ahead go by the water still grab a photo and uh, get a nice Instagram post <laughs> so we are going to home cafe it's in the inner sunset uh, neighborhoods of SF. It's not too much about the aesthetic of this actual coffee shop. It's more about the coffee itself. So these guys are like masters in the coffee art. They can do Santa Clauses, elves, Christmas trees, etc. So we're gonna see what sort of magic they can show us today. 
and uh, then I'm gonna devour it. <laughs> So we just got out of Home Cafe here in the Sunset neighborhood, one of their three locations. And they really live by their theme. I mean, everyone in there is on uh, their computers, probably doing work. I saw one guy playing computer games. So it really actually is home for a lot of people. But the, we met the owner, we were able to film uh, a lot of the artwork and super nice people. And really thankful that we, we actually uh, came here. Of course, you saw the wonderful art uh, check out their whole Instagram feed too because you know these guys really are masters at what they do. Okay for this last one we're going to Saxton Coffee Shop. Um, I think it's right in Soma. It's own roastery but they have a very nice industrial look. Some exposed bricks so hopefully that can be a cool photo. This one wasn't actually on the list uh, at first but since the other ones are closed this is uh, like an honorable mention that we're about to give you guys. Alright so let's go. Hey baby, do you believe me? Ooh. When I say I miss you so Ooh. It seems like your mind is elsewhere Ooh. Whenever we're on the phone Always on the go So what makes this place pretty Instagrammable is the sort of atmosphere that you're going for. Maybe if this is the vibe that you want, you can dress accordingly. The dim light has a little a little more depth to the atmosphere. I love this exposed brick. It adds a nice industrial loft style background. This place is really cool. In the back here, they have their own roastery machine. It's uh, lit up nicely compared to the rest of the area, which is pretty dim lit. But that's sort of the vibe and atmosphere that they're going for, so they put a lot, pull it off pretty well. All right, everyone, there you have it. Thanks for coming along. I hope I was doing okay as your coffee guide. We checked out like four or five awesome coffee shops. Let me know down below which one was your favorite and which one are you planning to check out yourself and maybe tag me in one of your photos. But if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And also let me know what other uh, Instagram worthy locations do you want me to make a video on and we'll be sure to feature it right here on this channel. All right, thanks a lot, everyone. See ya.